Hey YouTube! Hey, well we're back in the shop again. It's been a while and I apologize for that, but you know, life is busy. And uh, let's see, I happened to be in, in um, Ace Hardware a couple days ago. I don't go there very often, but I was in there because it was close. And I saw something that I thought was a little interesting. Now I do a lot of uh, drywall repairs, small repairs, whether it's fixing uh, drywall around a can light or around a light switch or uh, whatever. I do a, a lot of small repairs. And so when I get to doing the texture, I hate to get out my, my gun, my hopper, and the whole thing. And I have an electric hopper, and so it's not that big a deal. It's not hoses and compressors and all that. It's just the, the small electric gun. Uh, but it's still, it's a hassle. And uh, so anyway, going through Ace Hardware, I happened to see a small hand pump texture gun. Just for doing little repairs. So I got a wild hair and thought well I'll give it a shot I mean if for doing small stuff fixing an outlet or fixing a, a can light uh, it might be really handy so we're gonna mess with this today and see if it's any good so it's a home X it's a texture touch-up is what they call it and it cost uh, about 20 bucks and I know I have seen them online and it seems to me 20 bucks is actually pretty reasonable compared to what I've seen uh, it comes with a little bit of uh, mud in the back, but that's not worth much. Uh, so it's, it's kind of packaged like a DIY, DIY thing for fixing a small repair around the house. But um, I'm kind of curious. I assume I'm going to have to cut up the top here. It's just got a, a little plug in the top. So I assume I'm going to have to cut that out. But uh, I want to be careful first because I don't know if, if the pump pressurizes the tank. Uh, so we'll need to play with it and see what we have. So, let's see if I can get you rearranged so we can open this up together and, and see what's going on. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. Oh, it is a split pack. Okay. <laughs> that was easy. And it looks like it comes up. Yeah, it unscrews. So it's easy to clean the reservoir. Where are you? There you are. It's easy to clean the reservoir. Um... Maybe, maybe you load it from down here? I'm not sure. I might have to actually read the instructions. Uh... Okay, well I'm going to put you on hold for a sec while I read the instructions because I don't know what's going on. Okay, well the instructions aren't terribly clear. I'm sorry, I keep getting at a out of the frame for you guys. Uh, tighten it up, widen it up, okay. I'm trying to stay in frame. Um, so the texture comes out here and it's not very clear but I think I have to cut that off which that's sealed up. It doesn't really explain it in the instructions but there is one diagram of cutting it off. Um, I'll look through the instructions again. This stays on, so I'm not using that. So to fill, this is coming off. So there's your fill. And then you add your applicator. And they say it adjusts. There's uh, different markings here on the side. Uh, fine, medium, and heavy. And I can't tell. what. Oh, acoustic, so I guess popcorn. And you literally just pump it. So we'll gonna give it a shot. I got some drywall mud right here. <laughs> I'm gonna mix that up and uh, see if I can figure out what we're doing. I'm not gonna bother screwing with the stuff they have. Oh, they give you a popsicle stick for mixing your. Uh, I'm gonna reset you. Okay, we'll see if this any works any better. So let's see. So this is how you add your mud. This stays put. I think that's probably a, a valve to let air in. So you fill this. I assume we need to cut off the, the plastic over top of the nozzle. Um, the instructions aren't very clear, but there's one picture that shows cutting that off, or at least it looks like it. And then your pump screws on. And there's adjustments here on the side. You probably can't see, but it's... Uh, fine, medium, heavy, and acoustic, and and off. So off, fine, medium, heavy, and acoustic. Uh, so, let's see, I'm gonna try and see if I can double check on that, and then I'll go ahead and mix up some mud and, and uh, we'll play with it a little bit. 
Okay, now I did find the instructions that we're supposed to cut off this cap at the line and it says to puncture the red nozzle and I'm not sure why they wouldn't do that beforehand so we'll see so we'll start with cutting that off can't get my knife all the way around well the nozzle's already cut so um, okay so that's the nozzle you end up with it's fixed it doesn't doesn't turn okay well I'll mix up some mud and and uh, get back in a sec okay so I've got some mud mixed up it's probably pretty consistent with what I usually do um, I don't know if you can see it it's a uh, it's pretty soupy, but that's probably pretty close to what I usually do. So we'll fix up this hopper. Where's it? Oh, leaking out the nozzle. Okay. So tip it up and try and pour behind the nozzle. It holds more mud than I expected it to. Okay, so. Turn it up so it should stop dripping. And we'll put the sprayer on. Let's see. Try and do this so you guys can see. Okay. And then let's see. I turn it up. And the adjustment's over here, so that's off. I'll go with medium. And hopefully you can see. That's not half bad for doing a little repair. Can you guys see that? Uh, I don't know if you can see or not. That is not half bad. That's not bad. I could live with that. Okay, so I'm going to go up to the heavier, uh, not the acoustic. I'm going to go whatever they call heavy and see what this does. Holy cow, Batman. Can you guys see that? Uh, I don't know if I can get you in any closer or not. That is not half bad. When it sets up a little bit, and I knock it down, heck. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put a dryer on that and see what it does. Um... Okay, YouTube, I hope you guys can see this. Um, Try to get my fill light around. That is crazy. Uh, let's see. I don't know if you'll be able to see if I zoom in. This actually works amazingly well. For just doing a little touch up, that is phenomenal. Um, I'm going to try a fine to see if I can do a uh, like an orange peel. So if you actually go with a little bit heavier mud and turn it down real fine and then pump it hard, <clears throat> you just might get away with a, uh, an orange peel texture. Especially if we're do just doing little touch-up repairs, you may be just fine. Um, I'm definitely putting this little texture gun in my toolbox. I have to say, for doing a small knockdown repair this is actually really decent um, it's gonna save me a lot of time just on and there's virtually no overspray 
it's all right there don't have to mask anything uh, maybe put something underneath it to catch the big drips that are falling for knockdown this is awesome this, this is actually really going to save me a lot of time so it's a home x texture touch up um, just a little hopper spray gun and you know it, it shoots heavy stuff it may do acoustic I've only done one acoustic in 25 years but it may do it um, yeah cool I have to say for the for the right application this is actually gonna be a really good tool so I'm gonna see if I can find it online for you and I'll put it down below in the in the description check out the description for links and uh, also if if I can't find it to put a link in for you it was at uh, at Ace Hardware uh, for around 20 bucks something like that so anyway uh, I hope that's helpful YouTube uh, thanks very much surprising <laughs> uh, don't forget to like and subscribe see you guys